Welcome to the video. This is Computer Science and Engineering Workshop. Today I will be teaching you how you can make tabs with very, very basic vanilla JavaScript. For the record though, this is not how I would recommend you do it. Uh, normally I would just use Flexbox, uh, but if you don't know how to use it, this is just an easy way of doing it using very basic JavaScript. So we're going to make tabs and uh, we want it to be responsive as well. So let's jump straight in it. Before we begin, I went in and decided to just build my basic HTML structure. I have linked the CSS file that we're going to be using. Also, I have set the font family to be sans serif. So in the bottom right corner, you can actually see the web page itself. It's currently empty. So first, we're going to give it a background color of... Actually, let me just check it real quick. What was the hex code for it? Okay, so um, it's 364F6B. So let's check it. Okay, it comes. So let's just go into our HTML. So first, we're going to have a div with a class of tabs. So after that, we're going to have h and h1 is going to say Lauren Ipsum facts. After that, I'm going to go ahead and open a div with the ID of btn box, btn being the short for button. Actually, inside I'm just going to go ahead and add a button inside just to see what we're working with here. And then uh, below that, we're going to have a div with the ID of tab. Now, the IDs are going to be important in a bit, but uh, for now, let's just focus on the HTML part. So we actually have some, something to work with here. I'm just going to go ahead to lipsum.com real quick. So we're actually going to be making a... Oh, before we do anything else, though, let me just... Uh, do something real quick. We forgot to add a title here. Lauren Ipsum Facts. So this is the website we're going to be getting our facts from. So we're just going to paste this here. And then the facts we're just going to... Well, let me just... God, I can't. Like, let me just copy paste this real quick. Um, there we go. Control S, let's see. Okay, so let's just see how it looks now. Okay, as you can see, it's here. It just looks bad. So, next step will be to do the CSS parts. Uh, I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna do it real quick, my bad. Um, okay, so first we're gonna do our tabs class. Here. It's going to have a background color of, actually let me just read it out both, so hash f5, 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 I think, yeah, this is the right one. Uh, so it's going to have a width of 50% we want it to have, although it's going to have a minimum width of 400 pixels. Why are we making it in percentages? Because we want the page to be a bit responsive. No, so next, we're going to give it margin 0 auto to it centered. Next, we're just going to define our border. Uh, we're going to define it as dash 2f, 2f, 2f. I mean, hash, not dash. It's going to be solid, and then it's going to be 3 pixels wide. So um, if you don't know the order to these, uh, it doesn't really matter. Your browser should be able to tell this. As you can see, it's basically the opposite order of what it should be, but it's fine. It's going to work just fine. There we go. And uh, one last thing. Actually, let me just do this really quick. Padding top 100 pixels. There we go. So it's responsive, meaning that it scales around. So. Next thing we're going to do our h1, tabs, h1 element. So we want it to have a border bottom of, actually we want the same, we want it to be the 
the same. We're gonna get rid of the white space because it's a it's a header, and uh, they have built-in white space. So it's gonna have a padding of I think yeah I mean 20 percent I mean not 20 percent 20 pixels should work really great here. Uh, what else? Oh, of course text align center background color. This is gonna be our background color. And then, um, are we forgetting anything here? Of course, the color of the text. There we go. So, now that we're done with it, this is what it's looked like. it looks like. So it looks good. Next, we're going to do the tab. Tabs. The tab, actually, this is, this is a bit redundant. We don't need this. Okay, so... So it's, we just want to have a padding of 25 pixels. Oh, let's see, we, we want its contents to be this color, which is basically our text. No, wait, wrong color, my bad. This is going to be the color of its contents. There we go. Okay, so nextly, we're going to do our BTN box here. It's going to have a width of 100%. And that's really all that we actually need to define, I think. Uh, should we give it a border? No, wait, actually, we don't need to give it a border bottom. The buttons themselves are going to have a border bottom. So, next, uh, we're going to style our button. So, tabs, button. Actually, oh my bad. Let me just. Okay, so. We want them to have a padding of 20 pixels on top and bottom and 0 pixels uh, left and right. So this is what it looks like right now. And actually let me just add four, three more of these real quick. There we go. So each one we want to have a width of 25% uh, because you see we, we have four of them and uh, yeah but you see it overflows it doesn't fit here because there's a uh, as you can see there's spaces in between them and it cannot fit in so we're just gonna say margin zero although this is not going to work just yet because these are not displayed as block elements so we're gonna display them as block elements and there we go. Now, as you can see, there's no longer a space in between them, but uh, now they're on top of another. To fix that, we're just going to type float left. There we go. Okay, so wait a minute. Hmm. I think we're forgetting something here. There should be some gap in between these. Hmm, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, this shouldn't be what it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna give this a background color of this. I don't know what it's called. I just know the hex code to it. I think it's a nice color. So, uh, actually, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so it's not showing up, although we have the buttons inside. The main reason, I think, is, uh, I believe, is because, you know, these buttons are overflowing. So, yeah. Uh, so let's just, actually you know what, let's just say display inline block. Uh, what this will do is that it will make sure that these are the, uh, the div is the, the same size as the total size of its contents. As you can see, it's now fixed. And um, yeah, I think this should be it for our ETM box. Um, next, now we're gonna, actually let me just copy paste this real quick. Because the next, next thing we're going to add is this. Ah, there we go. Oh no, wait, we forgot to remove the rest of the borders. So, just border none. And this should fix it. Great. So, the last thing we're going to be doing in our CSS part is tabs, button, hover. But before we do that, we forgot a little detail here. It's gonna be the color of the text and background color will be this. 
Now what we're going to do is we're just going to replace them. We want them to uh, change space. Background, color, um, there we go. Okay, so um, as you can see, when we hover on top of them, this is what they look like. So, now that we're done with the CSS parts, let's dive into the JavaScript. So we're just going to open a script tag here. It's going to have a type of text slash JavaScript. Next, we're going to open up a function. We're just going to call it what is. So we're just going to type document dot get element by ID, which is why we gave these IDs instead of classes. I mean, we could have used get element by class, but uh, th this is just better. So we're just going to say get element by ID. We're just going to type tab inside and then inner HTML. So what we're going to be doing here is we're basically replacing the inner HTML of this div with well, whatever we have inside of this tab. So to demonstrate it, control X, control V. Oh, wait, yeah, of course. So it's not supposed to show anything right now because we forgot to uh, type on click. What is function? There we go, what you call it now. As you can see, it displays it. Next, we're going to do the, we're actually going to do the exact same thing for the one below. So we're just going to go ahead to lipsum.com. We're just going to control C this and uh, control V here. Yep, so uh, we're just going to call this function why do. Uh, but I believe we actually hold on. Oh. Okay, so we just forgot the font size. Just let me fix it real quick. Actually, it doesn't really matter, but still, let's make it look nice. Should we? Okay, I think it looks nicer now. So, um, let's get back to our file. Now, this is actually the text that we want this tab to display. So, we're just going to go ahead and type this, paste this inside here and then we're gonna type on click why do there we go, it should now call it as you can see it now changed the text inside, although we want the, um, the color to be darker for the tab we've selected, uh, basically the one that's checked or would be checked if we you know use flexbox and stuff we, we want it to be darker so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go ahead type document we're gonna use the same method here get element by ID this time though we're gonna access btn dash box and then inner HTML will be equal to whatever we have inside. So basically what we're going to have inside is, let me show you real quick, style, background color, which should be 2F, 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 there we go. And then a color of F5, 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 there we go. So. This is basically what we're going to call, and oh, wait a minute, we forgot this, didn't we? Okay, but you know, when we check this, this is basically what's going to appear here. Uh, this is currently going empty, and before we actually pass this on as a string, I'm just going to replace the quotes real quick. We can't uh, pass it as a string with those quotes, so yeah. Okay, so next I'm just going to do this, do that. Um, also, these need to be on a single line of code. They can't be on multiple lines. Just watch out for it. It's a beginner mistake that a lot of people make. I'm just saying. So let me just okay. There we go. Control X, Control V. Let's not forget the semicolon. Oh wait a minute. Of course, we forgot one little detail. 
and that is the on node part so when the body of our HTML file loads uh, this function what is will be called uh, so let's see okay so as you can see this one is dark but uh, it's not really changing color and to do that we're just gonna let's see control C and control E here now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this style attribute from our button or what is button and then we're gonna we're just gonna paste it on let's see where is it okay why do button and there's an extra here which we have taken away now and there we go so for the remaining two it's just rinse and repeat the same process so if you guys liked the video please don't forget to like and subscribe actually let me just expand this so you can see it a bit better there we go so if you guys liked it make sure to like and subscribe and uh that's it for today's video keep learning see you